just got to know that they're going to come and play their hearts out just as much as we are. So it's not going to be an easy game, even though you think like first round, first, second rounds are like the easiest things to get through. It's not. That's Kanani Danielson, two-time reigning WAC Player of the Year. Seventh-ranked Rainbow Wahine Volleyball Team open NCAA postseason tournament play tonight, getting their block back against Portland State. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. After sweeping through conference play, winning 62 consecutive sets, Hawaii got swept in the WAC tournament finals by Utah State. Tonight, they're back on track. Teams settled down in Seattle. Kanani Danielson dropped 13 kills with 10 digs. Rainbow Wahine took set 125-23. Chantil Satelli took some of the load off Kanani, putting down 12 winners. Czech senior setter Danny Mafua. That's a no-look special, 25-19 in the second set. Ladies added 11 blocks, and freshman Emily Hartong got into the act with four kills. Sweet, 25-8 in the third. Rainbow Wahine, a 15 seed in the tourney, now 29-2. Tomorrow, Hawaii faces the winner of tonight's Washington-Michigan match at 5.30 local time. And on the road for the first time this season, 4-2 Rainbow Wahine basketball team on the court at Portland State right now trailing 45-44. Camille Jackson has 18 points so far. Update tonight at 10. Safety Mana Silva of the UH football team played quarterback at Kamehameha Schools on the Big Island, and he committed to Oregon State. After a short stay in Corvallis, Silva transferred to UH, and on Saturday in Hawaii's regular season finale versus UNLV, He'll be one of 28 Warriors celebrating senior night. Silva is second on the team with 72 tackles, second in the country this season with seven interceptions. In his career at UH, Mano's got 13 INTs, tied for the school record with Keone Jardine and Kelvin Milhouse. This is it for your senior season. It's going to be a great night. Uh, it's going to be a last regular season game, and, uh, you know, it's just been a blessing uh, so far. You have a memory that sticks out as... That's the second, that's the moment that I will always remember. Uh, not yet, not so far, uh, but uh, hopefully that moment comes. You dare cry on senior night with all the emotions <laughs> and family? No, nah, I try to hold it in as much as possible, but sometimes emotions take over. Warriors tied for tops in the nation with 33 turnovers overall, tied for second in the country with 20 INTs, just one behind Alabama. Surf, final day of the O'Neill World Cup, second stop of the Triple Crown on the North Shore. And four to six footers off sunset, Brazil's Raoni Montiero took top spot, earning $20,000. Also, Julian Wilson finished second worth ten grand, followed by this guy. Hawaii's Granger Larson, his payday was five Gs. In pink, Tyler Wright won the women's crown, pocketing 12000 bucks. Right behind her was Hawaii's Coco Hole. Here, earning seven grand, Holding period for the final stop of the Triple Crown, the Pipe Masters, begins next Wednesday.